everyone, we are back. Campus Confessions, where we discuss every reality and ponder on every calamity. And here your host is Toby and the speaker, born by the will of leading and by the digital speaking. But also at the same time, we want to appreciate Pro Kingdom Legacy, the guys behind, and also use as a lab. But Hello guys, Masquera say, Masquera say. We are back again, Compass Confessions, and it's your girl Sushi. Jomanje manje mukuziva, guys. I'm the best presenter for Compass, and this was our panano I'm right? <laughs> okay, the best presenter for Compass. I don't know. You see it, and you believe. Okay, guys, we want to appreciate you, the celeb, the guys who are in support of uh, Compass Confessions, Pro Kingdom Legacy, and also at the same time, Muvimi, our dresses, no brand if you're not wearing Vimi, I'm not wearing Vimi. At the same time, wanting to appreciate Cranium Ignition, the guys behind the videography, photo shoot, and everything that you might want. Make sure, guys, you follow all those guys. Uh, follow our page at the same time. We now have an Instagram page called Campus Confessions. Today, guys, our last episode, the guy who just confessed got help. At the same time, we are now celebrating how many? 1k subscribers and now we are happy we're very happy guys so much happy 1000 subscribers on the channel director mouse basaruk famba or by your support the comment section we know is popping people are being helped let us keep the vibe but today we have another confession you're not here to condemn anyone but we want to help someone we have a guest today you're going to see the guest and you're going to learn a lot from her let's see what we have today Guys, the best, the best, the best. <laughs> okay, the bio I have here is something which is, uh, I don't know, Kuti, how exactly am I going to present this to you, but I, I, I don't want to lie, it's so much informative. We have a guest today, so much fabulous, Nagasha Danai and Nomziva. Her name is Carol. She's a TV personality, at the same time, a proud feminist. Yes, yes, a proud feminist, supporting the girl child out there and making sure that in this transformative world, and whatsoever, at the same time, an aspiring Oscar winner. Oscar winner. I think the success behind everything that is happening as of now, go and learn. You should be a new Shansei's name, Soro. After Campus Confessions, go and watch Carol. After Carol, Oscar winner. <laughs> she is actually a shoulder to lean on. No Basare Campus Confessions. We are a shoulder here, whereby people come with their problems, calamity, jeopardy, hackers, cacophony, making sure that all of the problems are discussed and they are being, uh, being given a, a solution. But in Zwaimun's court, Ra Kero, the party does not start until I walk in. That is so much igniting. Party I tange, Zamanja Manja Mafaro I tange, and I care as Nagopinda, which means if you want to be happy as a Zimbabwean citizen, as a student, or whatsoever, the person to look for is Carol. Carol, welcome to the show. This was the lengthiest introduction. <laughs> Thank you so much, Toby. And how are you doing? Thank I'm you fine. For having me. Thank you so much for having me. And Sushi, what's good? I'm okay. I'm okay. And I'm happy that you are here. I am very happy. I am. Like, you know, last episode, I am who the guy. And now I'm here. But at least to balance. <laughs> This is why we say she's actually a proud um, a woman, a, a proud black woman, a feminist supporting the girl child. We are giving uh, uh, that balance. But the business of the day, Campus Confessions, Sushi, what do we have today? Okay, as you know, guys, it's also campus conventions here. Do I it's mainly for use at campus, which means my universities are all over. And NAS, today, convention here do from a MSU student. Hands, I am a MSU university student. I saw your campus confession show on YouTube, and they've decided to confess to you so that you guys can tell the people out there my life story. My parents both died in a car accident when I had just started my part one studies. So so my uncle took me and he's the one paying for my school fees. The problem is now I'm not sleeping with him and my aunt doesn't know. 
this stated when he threatened he was not going to pay for my school fees if i had denied him sex so i started sleeping with him when i was a part two and now i'm in my third year the problem is i want to stop this but i don't have anywhere else to go anywhere else to pay for my school fees i can't tell my aunt for trust this for she trusts me a lot and i'm afraid i will lose everything i'm in need of your help for right now and i don't know what to do because it's getting worse and i don't want to ruin the relationship i have with my aunt looking forward to your help for i have seen your comment section on youtube and this what is the and this is one of the reasons why i've decided to message you i am ready to say this on a phone call as long as i got the help i need so guys this is what we have today a girl was sleeping nani na uncle wake because uncle over come threaten akuti uka saita sex nani i'm going to cut off everything i'm not going to pay your school fees so mr speaker <laughs> our speaker <laughs> what do you have to say okay this is why we have uh, we have ladies uh, uh, we have ladies so much and in, uh, informative of the issue it's an issue of a girl child these are real problems that we face care of whereby you're so much it's so much unfortunate that you do not have parents but at the same time you need to have the help that come from a parent figure in this situation what do you do i cannot speak yeah i'll speak but then you are in the shoes as a girl child as a feminist as a proud black woman what do you say this story um is making my blood boil i i feel her pain i feel her anger and i really feel her desperacy you know to kuna munakuti um i'm ready to say this on a phone call like for as long as i get the help those are big words and i am um, it's a very very difficult position to be in it's not an easy story it's not an easy topic to tackle and she sounds like she feels she knows it's wrong she doesn't want to do it but she's asking what do i do what can i do to get out of this and i would say the best thing would be to come clean with your aunt to come clean to your aunt if your aunt is a mother figure and she loves you and she and she's a woman at heart she would understand that you are the victim of the story you know because i understand that she's scared about uh, who's going to pay my school fees wh where am i going to live but you can't live with somebody who's raping you this is a story of rape that's what's happening here what do you think like mm -hmm. okay in me i think first big step yeah tumbo ita yep tumbo nyola this confession i was should clear friends for her cuz guys kakato wanda zvinhu zvazviri kuitika and let's hope this zvichabatsira munhu wese ari ari out there cuz vakawanda vasikana vakunzi if you don't do this i'm not going to do this for you if you don't do this and this will badras ko fezi yako handika so so zvambo tsona kero I think she has to come clean. Kuna anti wake. Wa udzoti anti this 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 no zvikitika. Cuz zvakatenga kuitika ari patuka. Izvo ari third year which means zvatone a whole year zvichitika and guys imagine a whole year. It just was you will not muna ba dress for fezi yako. So wow wow. This is so touching guys. Uh, yeah, I know it's 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 a very sensitive issue. Zvinhu zvacho this is why we say it. Today we are inviting a shoulder to lean on and campus confessions no basaravo we want you guys to lean on us we're so much proud of you the girl who just confessed it's actually the first step and i remember as much as a person who's so much interested in these idols of mine one of them is called martin luther king he says our lives begin to end the moment we keep silent on things that matter and this is actually a, a, an issue which matters is for the girl child it's so much unfortunate the only part i'm actually relating with her is the part of being an orphan and not having anyone to pay or not having a source to get the privileges in which you're supposed to getting to be getting from a parental figure you understand that leaves you in a situation whereby you say okay what exactly should i do besides this maybe it was actually the uncle who opted to pay maybe the aunt was not even opting to pay so now after the uncle opting to pay the uncle is coming with a condition which is so much evil which is so much uh, bad to accept but oita say the dream is for her to be educated to become that feminist developed independent woman what can she do 
it's it's the most difficult situation to be in what she's going through this poor girl and i i love that you have mentioned that we are so proud of you for you know stepping out of your comfort zone and talking about it because it's eating up her heart and you also mentioned the word evil and you're so right this is evilness at its highest peak because probably he's the one who stepped up and said I, it's okay i got this girl but now we don't know maybe he's been looking at her for, for a long time before her parents died you know now that her parents are dead now he's found a way to enter and do these things to her it's 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 the highest degree of cruelty and evilness because now he's like oh i'll pay your school fees but you need to pay me <laughs> I'll pay your school fees and you need to pay me an exchange system of business but that's evil we are coming back with the second segment where we will discuss this in depth welcome back guys to the second segment of uh, campus confessions whereby we are discussing about the girl child who is actually at the verge of uh, of uh, of uh, giving up according to the issues that she is facing but in aka it's so much sensitive she has been taken advantage of but anga udze retete ba ke directly ko ba ka side na e what then happens yeah it was to open a problem cuz aka da ko no udze tete ba ke tete ba ka no gono to mudzo ti uba para dza nsemba yangu ni murume wangu iwo ndi waka uya pamba pedu antika but then now look mukodo para don semba yangu also tete vakiwa nogona kuzvitera zvari kutaura but at the same time akwanise kuno confront murume wawo kuti ko kuita say cuz we never know vanogona ngonzi iwe we mese tete vacho ni mwana msikana vanogona ngonzi mese ivai then tete vacho vasina imba msikana apa sina chikoro Um, I, I understand that perspective and that, that is the problem uh, with this kind of stories it's the fear the fear of if I tell people what's happening if I speak up what happens to me next but then this is when you have to worry about a couple of other things how long are you gonna stay with this with these people this is not this might not be a year or two kind of two years kind of thing right this might become this might be your lifestyle this might be the existence that you lead for the rest of your life right what if you get sick and number two the fact that you're reaching out to me it means that you your your conscience is not okay with this your body matters your conscience matters so that is your pride matters this man is taking advantage of you and to your situation you know that is wrong in the highest degree as we've already established and if she tells her aunt the story and the aunt uh, blames her for anything at all then the aunt needs help and prayers that's the truth of the story because then if a man can do this to someone he's supposed to basically be a child to you if you can force yourself onto someone you're supposed to take care of what makes you think he will not force himself on on the kids that you have let's say you guys have kids ooh, ooh. this man is a beast is the story here he's a beast if he can do that to someone who's who's who needs your goodwill right what more can you do and if he's not if he's uh, i guarantee you he's not just like sleeping with this poor girl at your house he's definitely sleeping with other people you don't know about so don't be worried about what my uh, my, my aunt this my aunt that if your aunt blames you for anything at all your aunt is in the wrong and this is why i always speak for women and say as women we need to stand together no one is trying to steal your crusty dusty man get it together no one's trying to get him he's a beast he's a rapist you need to change him immediately we we, we need to deal with it i'm so much happy that you you mentioned that about women standing with women in this fight you know i have a book called this war i always tell people about that not yet released but as a person who lived you know I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a I'm a man who was born in a family of two girls. I have two sisters. And my first speech which actually went far was called she's my sister Nelia, a he for she item. And I have realized that in this battle for feminism, one of the things that makes us fail is because the people in their house are not together. And there is a philosopher who always said that um, if we can if no one can be against us inside no one who is outside can also be against us 
because we are so much united so the issue of girl child sometimes is about the women coming together having to fight that conscience which has been subdued or which has been subjected to, to, to patriarchy and making sure that they realize that we are moving in a different time now where we're supposed to be having equal opportunities if you want to pay fees for me just pay fees for me don't get something in return but at the same time she has been involved already what advice can we give her first of all with her health now um if you don't have any diseases and you don't have a child that belongs to this man yet get out now because this can only get worse this will not get better this can only get worse i would have been happier had she not done this at all had she come clean with her aunt like hey your man is starting to say a b c d but the fact that it's been a year already your aunt it might be even more difficult for your aunt to forgive you now it might be more difficult for your aunt to understand you because you've already let it go for so long so maybe in that light before you talk to your aunt maybe don't talk to your aunt alone she might stab you really <laughs> she might stab you maybe do you have a grandmother in the house a, a, a maternal figure someone you're close to who's not your aunt someone who you feel could reason with your aunt and she needs to ask forgiveness from her aunt because she has wronged her aunt but also she's been wronged the most i feel you know i mean <laughs> she's really been wrong this really but but carol uh, you know usually in our um, in our african cosmos right for a long time whether if you report kunana mbuya or anani they tell you you know, I was watching one of the one of the programs. I won't mention the name, but it was actually a, a scenario whereby the brother is sleeping with the sisters, and then the sisters are trying to report. But then when they try to report, they are being told we are protecting the pride of our family. Once you mention that, well, this is what is actually happening. How do we approach this? I feel um, as if women in Africa, and especially since I'm Zimbabwean, women in Zimbabwe, we have got to be empowered. The problem is, I'm gonna get a little, a little out there, but bear with me. I'm getting, I have a point. The problem is, even women, even women who are in power, when they talk about female empowerment, they don't talk about it in the light it should be talked about. Uh, I will not name names. But people who are supposedly supposed to be the pioneers of female empowerment in Zimbabwe, um, they talk. They, they say, "Women, go to school. That's the empowerment you need." And then they go and kneel for chiefs. They go and cook and teach women how to cook. We are still oppressing and being the tools of for repression for women in Zimbabwe, and that is the biggest problem. Please understand that as a woman, you have the right to your own body. You have the right to have your own emotions. You have the right to a clean conscience. There's no way your conscience is going to be clean knowing very well that, oh, I, I, I am sleeping with the man I'm supposed to be sleeping with. A man I don't even want to sleep with. That is a very difficult thing to place yourself in. And I, like I said, I would have preferred that she came clean from the beginning. But now that we are already where we are, what's the next step? Next step is reporting, cleaning your conscience, and saving yourself from a lifetime of disasters because this can only get worse it can actually get worse and we have to mitigate not mitigate we have to actually put a stop a full stop to this very much fast before we face any consequence but sushi how do you see okay where do we start when approaching this totangira papi okay uh i think this girl can anofana kutobuda kana kutopeka mabeg yake boy cuz it's not like until i can do vega munwa na yem family kam mu family muno na kawanja muna na auntie vana gogo your sisters kwana many no kwana my guru your cousins what what so i think anofana kutobuda mbo then oyenda kune munhu ano trust kana munhu ari open kuti achaure naye oshika mudza nyaya yake then the person who also in the owner would answer the nyaya, nyanga is I think, yeah. yeah. Then also in the because this man can't find a train them jail. He has to. Also in the police, 
but before that, when I turn and cause the vacayenda police. Even young Cadon Tanya was not an aunt, and I know no one, and I know no shaman, but you know, the motor is as long as I'm bait come among. So first tape in the Octopan or Tobuda Nasa Chay, I have to get my big guy. Actually, even you have us number big. Could you pocket money I care and catching it here? Can I cook a quitter combi? Can I cook it say, Oh, and Kumbakana, especially when I go go to the Tanago, Gondo and where Vakuru, Vaninga, which is zero to no consult her now and what what? Oh, and Bokana go go with the Gogonyaki. Then after, what do you go go with the chi and Tavachi Nyaya? Then from there, going to police. Exactly, that's what I think. Okay, so. We're going to come back in the next segment, the last segment, but also at the same time trying to find ways to approach this matter. I want to leave you with this quote. The Chinese people have a proverb in which they say, those who laugh without their bellies moving should not be trusted. So in that family at the same time, probably Tete Varuto no help from this Bamkuro. He might be the breadwinner in the family, but let's just to see could Tushandesa approach Yipi to help this girl. So they speak Rao, Pachona, Vajiti, Fuma, and Naka, Ino Parazo, Kama. But Kero, I think this is one of the most drastic things, but asking you in particular with regards to the, um, the help of this girl, but focusing much more on feminism. I've been reading books of feminism, I've been involved in some projects at the same time. I personally feel there is feminism, there is women and Africanism. What exactly would you say to the women movement who are actually fighting against these issues? Should we take that approach or should we take this one? Um, first of all, I think it's important to note that this is not just a feminism case. It's not a case of feminism and feminists versus misogynists. This is a humanitarian case. Right? So, um, feminist movement is such that's, that's just a, a way to empower yourself to understand that you don't have to go through these things. You don't have to be under a man you don't want to be under. You don't have to do that, right? But this girl is particularly, this is a humanitarian case. She's asking, what do I do now? She, because she's, uh, she's mentioned that he pays for the school fees. Um, and before, we, we, be, before we, went, we went on a break, you mentioned that maybe this man is the sole breadwinner of the entire family. So even the aunt may be like, if I leave this man, what do I do now? But this is when you have to question your values as a person. What matters to you? Your conscience 25 years from now or a degree four years from now? And That's she that. Has and to exactly. Yes. And we are still here after you go. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's really, wow. That's really, yeah. But um, uh, it's, it's a difficult position. But I think to get out now is better than to try and get out later. Because I don't know how long your degree is, right? But uh, if you have, let's say, four more years to go, that means you have two more years. Of cheating on your aunt, two more years of cheating and betraying your aunt, two more years of letting, uh, uh, yeah, exactly, two more years of letting uh, a man betray your aunt, two more years of betraying yourself. So, what are your morals? What are your values as a person? And like uh, Sushi, Sushi said, who is in your family that you can talk to about this? Who can rescue you? This is a time to look for rescuers. Because I understand it's important that you have a, sh a shelter, a place to lay down at night, food to eat. That's important. But so is your body. You have autonomy over your body. You know? So this is the things that you need to really ponder about. And, and we are actually appreciating, you know, pages like Use It Celebs. They're actually making sure that we, 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 we give a voice out there. And even Nash TV at the same time, they're coming through with the support. And, and, and Zim Celebs to then say, no, within the youth cosmos, we have been, we have been attacked with such a virus. How best can we ponder on these? How best can we help them without distracting any other thing that might lead them um, in a desperate uh, in a desperate circumstance but at the same time as we were saying already desperate i think this situation is already desperate right now um and she needs to get out it's it's already a burning house and the fire is just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger until you die if you don't get out now so much sure but uh msu msu have you ever been to msu no <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Why is she throwing shade? She's like, no. 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 It's, 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 it's a very beautiful environment. I'm not saying as bad or what. I was like, no, no, I've never been there. Yes. I think it, it, it's one of the biggest investors in Zimbabwe. MSU is a very beautiful environment. I've seen big people coming out of uh, MSU, but this should not be the way. It's not her problem. She is a victim, and we need to help her in a way that um, uh, we actually help the nation. Because probably the next day she's going to be uh, become one of the top, top, top dogs uh, up there. But there are many platforms in which you can help. Uh, we can f you can find help. Per MSU partial, we have an organization called. Say what? Say what deals with SRA, uh, health and reproductive health rights. My children, my counselors, my P educators. I'm actually a qualified P educator. Those are the people who you can approach if you're not so much comfortable with approaching your family members. They have Vatori Nema concepts. Avo Ekutvano Kubazira say we have he for she men standing in solidarity with a girl child. At the same time, we have what we call Kuma clinics and Engari Kukuchkoro. They actually have a board in Ongoita for counseling. Uh, your health also need to be checked up and make sure that you are not because it's actually drastic the house is on fire how do we how do we stop the fire no pane we need also need to report i i believe so much even lecturers to find a lecturer we are so much comfortable with i've been having lecturers of not only about sirene in a personal to then say no you know what on a legal base these are the protocols you need to use and these are the measures that you and at sungo gumirai purple we have a comment section a lot of people are going to come through with help. Having this show doesn't necessarily mean we know everything, but we're just being, uh, we're just standing as the voice to make sure that we open a platform to have people discussing about it and helping at this girl. I don't know, what would you want to say, Sushi, about this before we close? Okay. Uh, I think so I'm going to tell you that you could show Yeah. Kuna ma counselors out there. Even kana ku change, yeah. Especially ku change. Kuna na ma infundes. Kuna vuzunzi nomba itu kama programi. Kuti ba ba na ba ba ku kafir. Wati shiwa nuko sawa bada la maskofers. Kuna ma mwan out there. They ku change. Ba de mari. So I think she can go ku change. Ota na ba ba na ba ba na ma infundes. Or discuss a nini ya? You never know. They may take her in. Wano kono to gara na. And vantu zoku kwanza kuto bada la fears. Kuti chikuna na kawanda vari. Kubantu doto ba sira nirer. Sakaya, I think she should go to church. Yeah. If Kanao not is a good quarter, the school meeter, Jama Zaka school meeter, she should go to church. Yeah. So it's an advice coming through. Just find a shoulder to lean on. But Carol, do you have any platforms or any um, uh, organization or any projects that you have which goes in line with these things of helping the girl child? Because I know you are the shoulder and the shoulder comes with a lot, a lot for us to learn from and whatsoever. Um, nothing that is uh, certain yet, nothing that is stagnant. However, I do know, I came across on uh, Instagram once of uh, a, a counseling organization called the Friendship Bench. Yeah, the Friendship Bench is a place you can talk to people about, etc. However, I feel like what this girl needs right now is not just a, the, the, the fixing your mental health will come after she gets out of the situation. Because you, you can't fix your mental health while you're still inside the burning house. Because there will always be something that will come up that will make you be, uh, be sad all over again, be miserable all over again. So I think you're right that there, there must be good people somewhere out there who, are, who might be able to help you. And if the worst comes to the worst, maybe get a job. Maybe get a job. Uh, uh, um, that can at least afford you even like a even a card box to live in and then you work your way up from there you know because the problem right now is that you have to survive in the situation right now you have to continuously sit at the table with your aunt lie to her face lie to yourself lie to I don't know what religion you are but even God you know you're, you're, you're lying to him you're, to even your, your body you're lying to your body. You're lying to everything that you stand for, because from from the, the fact that you came out to talk to us about this means this is not who you are at your core. 
this is not your lifestyle because there are people who's this is their lifestyle and they'll be okay with it but it still it shows that this is not who you are so worry about really think about it and if you're a christian maybe pray about it what do you believe in what are your values as an individual what do you want in the next 20 years as an individual it should anything because it would be so embarrassing for this story and you are the victim but it would even be embarrassing for you to come out later because you're now with child or you tried a, an, a, an abortion in your own room and then now you're dying you know and no one will ever know your story thank you for coming out to speak uh, to, to tell us your story but do something immediately that was carol a shoulder to lean on a proud black woman a feminist a tv personality she has a lot but you have to take something from her make sure that you speak out and at the same time i want to tell you this as toby and the speaker the problem with people is that they don't know what they don't know and the reason why they don't know what they don't know and the reason why they should know what they don't know so people don't know but with campus confessions now you get to know how you can be helped you get to know which routes you're supposed to be taking in order for this situation to be dealt with at the same time life is not always fair but the good guys always win shout out to Muvimi the brand Ruko Pisa Paris you know always make sure that you get a Muvimi t-shirt at the same time I want to give a shout out to you that celebs the guys who are actually standing with us and making sure could help iruku uyakuma students pro kingdom legacy the coffee bar if i use that now they are offering a delivery services uh, some delivery services ku host kwako uri kwa uri just do a speed dial vano we have chukupa pese kono ngwa uri cranium ignition your videos your photo shoot and everything right now we are signing out this was to and the speaker this was to and the speaker born by the will of leading and by the general speaking muchatuona we also have nash tv or nash pains coming through with the support and with the sponsorship the thing is growing we thank you all of our subscribers all of our followers and all of our loyal fans for now we are checking out and i was with sushi guys we love you we love you so much okay we're checking out it was nice meeting you carol thank you very much and to the person with the com uh, confession today i really wish you the best girl the best the best the best hit me up as well on social media um i might be able to have things that might help you i hope that you know you can power through this where do you find oh uh, underscore carol c-a-r-r-o-l dot underscore on instagram which is where i'm mostly active on so you can dm me and i'm wishing you the best sweetheart i love you also shout out to 3k tv the where she is coming from 3k tv the best tv show i love it so much and maybe sooner or later something is coming through with carol <laughs> with carol shout out to director miles the man behind the production of everything director fidel you see him he's the man who is uh, he appears as if he's uh, the anonymous but he's the man behind all this thank you so much shout out to patience arif one of our presenters the best you shall see her coming through this was campus confessions episode number three we are signing out